Wanderings, I welcome you to a new video on our road trip in Andalusia. In the last episode, I showed you what was my favorite city in Andalusia, and this is still the same. Granada, without a doubt. I hope I convinced you last time. If not, go check or recheck the video. As for today, we have many kilometers to do and several atypical characters to meet, so stay until the end if you want to see them all. So let's get started. Let's return to where the air is fresh, where the sea wind blows on your soft ears. Let's visit the city of Malaga. <laughs> We are now back to the coast with the city of Malaga. Hometown of famous actor Antonio Banderas and painter Pablo Picasso, this colorful and underrated city may very well surprise you. Let's be honest with you from the start. I did not like Malaga as much as I liked Granada. I believe it is, but not only, a matter of time, because we stayed a bit less than two days in Malaga and three full days in Granada. So less time to appreciate the southern city. For many years now, Malaga wants to be that cool modern coastal town. They have innovated their docks to make it pedestrian or built the structure that became emblematic of the city, El Centro Pompidou. An interesting colored cube that captures the sun as it descends. Pretty nice, right? This cube, nonetheless, is not the only ace the city has in its leaves. As I mentioned before, Picasso was born here, in Malaga, so more reason for the city to expose his arts and illustrate his whole life. He has even two places, that lucky guy. One at Mercer Square, the house where he was born, as well as another ancient palace converted in a museum. That is the one we decided to visit. Even though almost all paintings are replicas and the museum is a bit expensive for what it is, I still liked to learn more about his life and some of his other works, way less known. Hmm, maybe there's a reason to it. Here and now, you might ask yourself, Gimlet, is there any trace of the Arabs since Granada is not too far and had plenty? You are so curious, Wanderings. What an amazing question. Let me answer by yes, there is one monument which proved the Arabs lived here, the al Qasaba or the citadel of the city. Less impressive than the Alhambra in Granada, you can, once again, cannot deny its beauty and the incredible facility that the Moors had to create these kind of buildings. When you advance into the al Qasaba, you find yourself face to face with some quite nice palaces. All the monument is still standing after 11th century. Just this info itself should make you want to visit. It is amazing. Amazing like the rest of our road trip. Let's get going and enter into a zone called the Road of the White Villages. Right before we enter, I think I have something to say in front of the camera. Oh, here I go, I'm running really fast to tell you an info. I definitely need to do some more sports. Hang on, I'm coming. Right there. Here we go, tell them what you have to say. Between the provinces of Cadix and Malaga, you can discover a lot of villages, mostly white, clinging to rocky slopes. It can take up to several days to visit them all, but the ones I will talk about are my favorite. Right before I show you the first one, let me explain during the time of a time-lapse the reason why white villages are white. It is quite an ancient tradition, but it really became popular in the 19th century, when the authorities recommended lime as a disinfectant to prevent the spread of diseases and epidemics. It is also a super nice technique to refresh the houses in the hottest month, since the white color reflects the rays of the sun. Now that you are aware of the reason, let's start with Ronda, situated one hour and a half away from Malaga. And now it's the time for the drone and the music, go! These drone shots already convinced me, how about you? Ronda is the perfect example of how a city should look like. A massive and impressive bridge that connects the old center to the new one, white houses literally on the edge between life and death, and a street named after the conceptor of Gran Turismo games. Yeah, really, Katsunori Yamuchi, the game inventor of Gran Turismo. Awesome. For these reasons, Ronda is a popular city, but at the same time, it is really tranquil. Oh, hello, mister. The new bridge, as they call it, is astounding from every angle. Many hikes will allow you to observe it and take some great pics. Here's my reaction about Ronda. 
I am impressed. Yeah, this is the first one and I'm already in love with these huge rocks with white houses perched on it. My expectations are even higher for the next villages. Yes, old me, Rwanda is one of a kind. Whether you start or finish with this beautiful town, you will not be disappointed. The next white village on our list is called Gaosin. You will have to drive one hour to the south to see this peaceful village. I talked about the tranquility of Rwanda, but here in Gaosin there is no one. I mean, not a single tourist or inhabitant actually, which is cool and weird at the same time. We didn't stay here very long, however you can go up the hill and visit the castle of the city, El Castillo del Aguila, which gives you a view like this. Let's finish this video by showing you a village you didn't know existed. A village originally white, which changed its look completely because of one really important Belgian French comic. Surprisingly, it's not white, it's blue. And this is not the only thing you can see in this village. The village of Huskar changed its color to blue in 2011 for the first Smurf Hollywood movie. It stayed like this since then and I really love it. It's even better than white, don't you agree? It makes the houses pops and give them an even more interesting appeal. Inside the village, you will see riddles on mushrooms, zip lines along with other attractions and even statues of the characters. The Smurfette at the entry of the village on the right, the brainy Smurf when you leave the city center, and of course, Papa Smurf in the heart of the city. I knew there was going to be some blue houses and one or two Smurfs here and there, but this is much more than that. If you walk around, you see some street art, some cartoon logos, and of course, one or two Smurfs. I really like Hosgar for its Smurfy charm and its mushroom atmosphere. If you are planning a trip in Andalusia, do not miss this village, which is more than just Smurf. Consider Hosgar a full-fledged experience. And wondering, we are coming to the end of our experience. Thank you to have stayed until the end and subscribe to my channel right now. If you do so, the Smurf will give you a kiss in your sleep and provide you mushrooms. No kidding. In the case where you want to see more of Ruskar or the white villages in general, I'll let you have a look into Facebook pages like French Passionate or French South of Spain. And I'll see you very soon for a new video in Andalusia. Hasta luego!